Hi, my name is James, and I'm a librarian at the University of Alabama. Today we're going to learn the basics of using Simply Analytics, a tool that combines demographic and business data with geographic information. Although it is generally thought of as a business tool, Simply Analytics is useful for anyone who cares about demographic and geographic information, thus making it useful for many social sciences as well. Starting from the UA Library's homepage, we're going to go to the Databases page and then search in the box for Simply Analytics. After clicking on the database link, Simply Analytics will ask you to log into your account. Today we're going to log in as a guest, but you can make a personal account to save any projects you make. Looking at the Simply Analytics interface, there are several important things to note. In the top left corner of the screen, you can see locations and data, both things you will need to start a new project. There's also a tab for businesses, where you can search for particular businesses or business category data. At the top of the screen, you'll see the name of the project you're working on and can rename the project. Let's change new project to Flowers Project. Now we will add a location. To do that, we'll click on locations and type in the name of a city, county, or state. Today, I'm going to search for Tuscaloosa and select the city. Now we can see the location on the center pane of the screen. Next, we'll add some data. I'm going to click on data and I'll have a long list of data types I can include in my project, ranging from census type data to consumer behavior and psychographic data. For now, I'm going to look at the percentage of people in households aged 18 to 24 years old. Once I select the data I want to use, Simply Analytics draws a map based on the location and data I've selected. In this view, the legend tells me that I'm looking at the percentage of population aged 18 to 24 by zip codes, which are color-coded based on the percentage. I can now also see some tabs on the right, Comparison Table, Map, and Ranking. Today, we're just going to be looking at the map, and I'll address more advanced database features in another video. From here, I can use the Scale toolbar on the left to zoom in or out to change the data scale. If I keep zooming out, we will see data by county level, and we can zoom in through census tract and block group levels. Under the Scale toolbar, I can select options to move the view of the map, zoom to a particular box location, or change the cursor to give information on a particular spot. You can also edit the legend and color display by clicking Edit on the Legend pane. Let's change the color to green. If we want to plot businesses on the map as well, we can go back to the Businesses tab and browse business categories. I'm going to look for florists. Simply Analytics will plot individual business locations, but if several businesses are in close proximity, it will group them together with a number. You can click on each location to see the name and address of each business, along with the SIC and NAICS codes for it. You can also export a map to save for a presentation or inclusion in a report. To do so, click on Export in the top right corner of the screen. Simply Analytics will then walk you through the process of cropping the map, setting the layout of the map in Legend, and then actually saving the image. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, contact us or visit ask.lib.ua.edu to ask a librarian.